Now that we've zoomed back out, notice that we've added some minnow fish in the river. A minnow sounds like aminoglycoside, so the minnows here should help you remember that francisella is treated with aminoglycosides. Okay, now that we've covered brucella and francisella, let's wrap up this video by discussing pastorella multicida. As you can see, we've added a blue necklace to the pastor guy, and just like in our other videos, this is here to help you remember that pastorella is oxidase positive. This is an image of the oxidase test, which we covered in more detail in section 20, which is our Neisseria overview video. Recall that if the organism is oxidase positive, then the disc will turn a blue or purple color, which is what we can see on the left right here. So remember, pastorella is oxidase positive. The sack of Bibles has been here to help you remember that this guy is, in fact, a pastor. But we've also shown it to help you remember that pastorella is encapsulated. So sac for polysaccharide capsule. Next, notice that we've added a cat sitting right next to the pastor guy. This is his trusty pet who's come along for a stroll next to the Eiffel Tower. Just like in our other images, the cat is in this part of the image to help you remember that pastorella is catalase positive. This is a picture demonstrating the catalase test, which we covered in more detail in section 7, which was our video on Listeria monocytogenes. Recall that the bubbles right here indicate that the organism is catalase positive. Now you can see that we've shown a pretty nasty stray dog that is biting the poor pastor's leg. We've included the dog here to help you remember that pastorella is transmitted through dog bites.